All right, welcome back. This is episode 28. So we are here once again facing off against the Harvester, the toughest boss by far in uh, at least the whole first game area, uh, if not the entire trilogy so far. Um, of course, I say that having not played Inquisition, but it'd be hard to find a fight tougher than this. Um, so yeah, certainly a nightmare fight. So what I, I looked it up and two things I discovered. First of all, is that there's the switch over there. Uh, which I thought might be a switch, like when you defeat the boss to let you out or something, um, is actually part of the mechanics, which I'm sure I would have figured out before too long. But uh, yeah, I looked it up because that saves us some time. It gets rid of all of the uh, skeletons and also removes some buffs he gets during the red phase. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the general gist of it. Um, and it only does that during phase one, which brings us to the second twist. There's a phase two. When you get him low, he heals all the way to full again. And is much more difficult the second time around. You can't get rid of the skeletons. He is mostly immune to magic entirely. It's just, which, like, why do that when you have, I don't know. Either way, um, it kind of sucks because it a lot of, like, like I said before, my character is built for AoEs and control and support. So in a fight like this, half of that is rendered useless. Um, so what I've decided to do, because when I was looking at the strategies that other people had used, it's basically like cheesy strategies, like go for multiple dodge and spell resist, mainly dodge. Use nature selves, basically go super tryhard mode. Um, or just build your character well. Import lots of manuals of focus, whatever they're called, to re-spec your party. Get all the tactics lined up, have tons of potions. All the common sense stuff you would think that's just time consuming to prepare. So I hate giving up because I'm just... I, I, I don't back away from a challenge. And... and I really want to beat this in nightmare mode, but with my current all the limitations I put on myself, like not being arcane warrior and not bothering with tactics and even organizing their bars and just using the default builds, um, I'm not going to do it with this party. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to hard mode for purposes of the story. It'll still be a sizable challenge because nightmare mode is really tough, so hard mode can't be that much easier. So we'll do it on hard mode. Um, do, we'll do that this episode, end it, and then I'll probably do a special episode, and I'll go back. I'll import some manuals of focus, maybe, or at the very least, I'll unequip everybody's stuff so I actually have good rogue armor and good tank armor, and, you know, we uh, actually have a, a fighting chance that way. Some runes that aren't uh, anti-darkspawn runes. Um, because I really want to beat this guy in nightmare mode, just to prove that I can do it, but I, I feel like when you kind of go out of your way to RP your party more than actually build them as the, the most min-max band of warriors you can make, then it kind of makes that next to impossible. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Let's go ahead and get started then, because it's still going to be a tough fight. We're going to set that to hard. I hate doing that. But um, I don't know if there's really any use of using that storm. I don't know how much it actually did before he got to me. I did kind of like drawing him out here, though. Maybe we'll give it a try anyway. All right, let's do... I don't know if an earthquake's gonna matter at all. I'm gonna try to precast it. Not sure if we precast it last time or not. Don't think we did. Going to this time. As you say. All right, let's trigger it. There we go. I'm gonna just go through this really fast. All right. Um, so it does teleport you forward a little bit by the looks of it. Everyone, please get out of this door before you all die. Well done. Okay, we heal. Probably shouldn't use that. That's okay. Um, can I do anything to stop him in his tracks? Can I petrify him, maybe? Not all by sight. Where's he going? He's going over this way. Fine by me. All right, we're actually keeping him in place. Also, the best defense is a good offense. Oh, Valdis Endowment. We don't have any nature cells, do we? Because he does a lot of nature damage. Oh, I do have one. I don't know how to use it on Aerovale, though, because he probably won't be attacked that much. We're going to save it, actually. Um, also, all of his abilities take zero stamina to use. They do have a cooldown. All right, so there's a corpse. Uh, we can get rid of the corpses, though, if we hit the switch, but I'm going to try to save that for a bit. I can try shattering it. Now everything's going to cool down. All right. Um, it's also probably smart to make your guy an archer so he can fight at range and not be, in, be attacked by those guys. So that's, that's smart. 
we will do that for the nightmare attempt. Um, all right. So I think that's all about all my single target stuff I can do. Yeah. All right. Let's get over here with my crew. He's using a boulder. Nice. All right. He's coming out of the area now, so we can probably. I'm gonna go close to him and use a winner's grasp. Because that's not a bad idea. Didn't do much though. They said ignore the corpses and have everybody attack the harvester. And you can take these guys down with uh, the switch. But I'm not really near the switch right now. Storm is dissipating though, so I'm gonna try to take him out since he's already low on health. And Mr. Dace, if you, or Jarek, if you wanna go behind him, that'd be nice. Use your spirit thingy. Alright. Uh, I can kind of cold him if I can get in position. Got him. As you can tell, this is still no laughing matter. It's a tough fight. How are those backstabs going? Alright, uh, I'm gonna stay in this mode for now though. Weapons are no longer because there's not a lot of skeletons. I'm gonna get out of here though. Or I'm gonna get knocked down instead. Alright. Yeah, his health is definitely dropping a lot. Oh, Jarek, watch out. You have aggro, why do you have aggro? Rogan is out of stamina. God, I need. To, I just. I don't want to set all the tactics for the the let's play. Like for one battle, that's not worth the time investment there. I'll do it for the nightmare mode run, but it's not worth doing it for hard mode. But if I don't do it, he's never going to use taunt. Where is it? And that means he's going to lose aggro a lot. Aggro is very important for this fight. Alright, use a stamina drought. By the time we actually do need him to use taunt, it's too late because... Actually, you can taunt. He'll probably die, but I can res you. A lot easier than I can res him. Yes. Alright, there we go. Also, apparently his vile disembowelment is what creates the harvested corpses, which kind of makes sense. He's like ripping them out of his body. Put the force field on you for now. It should last a while because it's only a normal rank. Brogan. I don't want to use the lever yet. Are you guys still all attacking him? Better be. So that's our ticket out of here. Alright, now we're starting to get overwhelmed a bit. Actually, I think this guy's best hit the lever because he's fast. All right, you go ahead and use one of those stamina droughts, which again I didn't put on your quick bar before we started. Because I'm not expecting to lose this this time. If we do, I'm going to blame it on tiredness because it's getting quite late. But I really want to finish this. Um, yeah, let's see if we can use a kind of float on him. Oh. Switch, switch, who's got the switch? Oh, he's out of... Oh, that's bad. I think I waited too long and now he's out of the red mode, so there's no switch. Alright, that could have been a fatal error. Um, I guess I need to go faster than that. Everyone drink, not your health bolt, says go all the way. Superb health poultice, where are you? Well, there's a scroll wheel now, interesting. There it is. Again, if we lose, that's going to be irrelevant, so hopefully we don't lose. I am ready. Okay, there we go. Yeah, at least there's not too many corpses. Apparently it is random what type they spawn as, although on hard it doesn't seem like there's 
as many lieutenants or bosses. Very well. Oh, I say that, of course, and there comes one right now. It's begun. We have a Petrify up, though. And I think he's switching back to the other mode, so I'm going to have you start running back. In fact, you know what? I'm going to have you taunt and then run back. Yeah. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Keep stabbing away, guys. Snug has got this. Alright, good, and they all went away. Oh, and he reses another one. Oh, he reses... Seriously? He reses three right as soon as I do that? Arr, can't get a break with this guy. Okay. Well, I wanted a hard fight, didn't I? I'm going to freeze him, which is probably a mistake, because now Jarek is going to be frozen for twice as long as he is. Um, I'm be stabbed by this guy. Yeah, now would be a really good time to have a lever, but unfortunately... I really want to get rid of this corpse, but... I mean, it doesn't have that much health. I just don't have any time to attack is the issue. My team is so weak, they're spending their entire time healing and not a time DPSing. Do you have a group heal? You do. I'm going to try to save yours, though. Yeah, I'm going to try to... Because uh, apparently a boss one of these does almost as much as the Harvester does. But maybe if we can... So I'm afraid of going into phase 2 with a bunch of these guys alive. Although apparently he reses all of them in phase 2 anyway. I'd really like to have one more switch before we do this. We'll see if I get my wish though. I don't have Hand of Winter yet. Alright. Put a life for it on him. There's a good kind of cold. Keep chugging. There we go. Alright, we don't have a Bronto though, unfortunately. What's the cooldown on that? Way too long. Um, I can some. Oh, he's, he's a ranger, but he doesn't have any of the ranger abilities, does he? No, he doesn't. Damn it. That means one of my main people's gonna have to run over there and hit the switch. Who's fastest? Probably Jarek, but he's also my main DPS. Alright, I'll do it. One thing done right. Oh god, now this guy's gonna die though if I do that. Because he can't use potions. See, that's really. They really should let you import your crew from Awakening into this. Like, that would make some sense. Ideally, your crew from Origins, but Awakening, I can, I can see. That guy's in crew PO. There we go. Hit it. I think he's still gonna die. Nope, I can heal him through walls. Alright, might be okay then. And now we have a Bronto. Take your potion, Jarek. Why do you have aggro? I don't have enough mana to taunt. Um, maybe I can kind of cold him as he comes close to me? Probably. Got him. Don't massacre. Take a super damage drop. Take it, take it! Oh my god, why didn't you take that? And these corpses are alive again. Jeez, they respawn. It's like that button gets rid of them, but then they all come back anyway. So I don't really get to the point of that. All right, at least we can res him. But where did he die? It's that guy, right? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. He's the tank too. Hey, look, another harvested corpse. Great. There, yeah, there's some. I really don't like this fight. I mean, I like that it's hard. That's actually not the part that annoys me, believe it or not. The part that annoys me is that the mechanics of it are just, like, freaky. Like, I don't get how these guys keep appearing out of nowhere and what the phase thing. It gets rid of them, but only temporarily. And you have to juggle between, like, you don't want to destroy the, the corpses. You want to concentrate on the harvester and just try to stay alive through it because they're going to overpower you. I'd rather have a fight like the mother just scaled up a bit. Where there are ads, but they're controllable. You can actually use your AoEs. You can support each other. 
against waves of enemies. That's more what Dragon Age is built for, in my opinion. Okay. Now use your heal, and just in case he fails, as you people are prone to do, apparently. Yeah, I, I really want to set some good tactics for these guys, so they can start using potions without me having to tell them when to use every single potion. Uh, I'm going to try to force field this guy. Actually, I should just win his grasp. Oh, see? Like this. He's going to die before he can down a single potion. What I tell you? I called that. Once you have aggro, there's, that's it. It's over. And you can't taunt because when it's on cooldown, two, you have no stamina because you don't have a tactic to take potions. I must try and the Harvester is attacking me because, yeah, I'm a mage tank. Alright, that got rid of them, at least for now. Kind of cold. There, he resisted. Great, okay. Um... I have to use my res on my other friend there. See? And he resummons them like that. They, he doesn't even pull them out of his body again. Like, they're, they're the same skeletons I've been fighting because they're low on health. They just respawn when he calls them back again. That I don't like. And now I'm in trouble because they're all over me. Can I mind blast them? I'm getting backstabbed too. Does anyone have a taunt? You do. Good, okay. Taunt, and I'm gonna... I guess I'll try to mine west. I'll take a potion. Okay. So we're all alive. You need a potion as well. See, I wish I could Q things, because I would've given a stamina thing as well. Are you dead yet? Seriously? Come on now. Take a stamina potion. Get on the harvester. Again, I think I waited too long there because literally, if you, if you pause this game for one second and don't give them all health potions to chug, or unpause this game for a second, somebody dies. I need to get some tactics going. Come on, take the potion. Nope. God. This is really frustrating. Honestly, I should have just set all the tactics out. I should have taken half an hour, done all the tactics, all the quick bars, gotten everything perfect, and then I set it to hard and got it on the first try, but that's not what's happening here. I want to push him to phase two, but I, I still don't because if we go to phase two before we, we mean to, that could be the death of us. I can do one more revive, but this is my very last one, so... I need help. I said by the time I get there, they're going to be dead. And as soon as I hit the switch, it's not going to matter, because... Yeah. Well, me and Jarek. But again, he didn't use a potion, because no tactics. I, will strike in our I have a res, and I don't think I can hit both of them, unfortunately. And the corpse is already alive again, literally two seconds after I hit this button. Oh, I hate this fight. I'm half ready to set it to easy just to, and beat it in two seconds, just to move on with my life. Okay, um... Oh, I don't have revive. Why don't I have revive? Did I hit this button? Why are you running? I... I told him to use an attack and he runs across the room. That makes sense. Can I get them both? Should I try to get them both? How wide is that radius there? And I hit neither of them. Uh, it's little things like this that annoy me. Like, it's not the fight itself. It's the little tiny things that should be working properly that aren't. Like, they were both clearly a part of their bodies in that, but because it wasn't a large enough radius. Right, I'm going to push them to phase two, so at least we can see phase two. Unless I die, which I'll, I'll probably die, because once again, all these corpses are back. There's almost not even a reason to push those things. There's not really a reason to take the best single target spell in the game because it doesn't last very long on bosses. I'm going to attack the Harvester. 
I might as well just reload at this point, though. <laughs> yeah. Let's do another phase. Yeah. Okay. We'll do this again. Um, I don't want to set it to normal. Like, oh. But I also don't want to set the, take the time to do all of these tactics to defeat him once and then have to go back, play in the entire rest of the time through the game, do all the tactics and everything again, and then uh, play through it one more time. All right, that's it. We're setting it to normal. I want to beat this thing. I will come back and I will do it on Nightmare, I promise, but I'm going to do it with the party that's actually stuff to do what they're doing. There are too many other games out there I want to play to spend two more days doing all the tactics and quick bars and whatnot two different times. All right, so um, I'm not going to do any set potions and all. They're just going to have to use it on their own. All right, Harvester. Watch him still beat me. That'll be sad. Again, on normal, I'm still going to have to min-max, or I'm still going to have to sit here and micromanage every single second of the fight. Otherwise, somebody's going to die. Because that's what happens here. But hopefully the best best defense is a good offense and we can just kill this guy really quickly. This is like the fifth time I put these things on the quick bars. And I think every time, this will be the last time, we're going to win this time. And then we don't, and I have to do it all over again. Okay. Why are you not drinking that? I told you to drink it. Jesus. Again, he doesn't have taunt set up as a ability, and these guys cannot have tactics. <sighs> Can't even get by on normal mode without having like decent tactics set up. Like, is he not set as defender? Custom three. What is defender? Well, there is no defender. He doesn't get a. He just gets default. Seriously? And default does not have a taunt in it. Who makes a sword and shield warrior that's not a tank? It's like Bioware is setting you up to fail in this thing. They're making it hard by giving you really bad companions with the totally wrong skills and then bad tactics that use that don't even use them correctly. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and hit the button. That'll get rid of them for a second. They're going to come back, though. Me. Same deal with this guy. Yes. Here to use his heal. Great. Everybody check a potion then. You should call this the potion age. <laughs> See now all the corpses are back at the same time essentially. Notice how I'm hitting the pause button every two seconds here. Well, I've learned a lesson about playing Let's Plays on Nightmare Mode, though. Not a good idea unless you want terribly long, boring boss fights. Honestly, what I probably should have done at the beginning was keep them normal the entire time and just make extra bonus videos. 
for doing these fights on Nightmare. Of course, I wanted to do that. I should have had a better build. And I, like I said a long time ago, I'm not making these characters to be the best they can be. I'm making them just to be all around balanced. All right, we're almost going to the next phase. Wow, like his explosion just did more than half these guys' health. And these are our tanks. Uh, this is normal mode. That's the other issue with Dragon Age, is that it doesn't actually scale very well. Easy and Nightmare are not really that far apart. That's on cooldown. Alright, well, I can't. Brogan, you want to hit the switch for me? Or you? You can hit the switch. I want to hit it before we go into the next phase so these skeletons don't linger around. Although I think they get revived anyway. Oh, there we go. Phase two. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, the Harvester. Oh, he's a jumpy little fella. Looks like he'd be easier, but I think he's actually harder. There's still a switch, though. Can we hit it? And again, it'd be another minor complaint. It'd be really nice if these were all like down here, so I didn't have to keep. It'd be so much easier to keep an eye on everybody's health and stamina and everything if I could do it that way. These others are under my protection. Quickly, we must fight. He is a fast fella. What are you doing, Brogan? Don't just stand there like an idiot. I know you're a little touched in the head at this point, but it's not hard to attack the, the only enemy around. Right, he's not doing much damage this time, he's just running everywhere. Um, and we're out of combat? What? Oh, whoa, no, we're all getting split up. Hey, hey now. Let's not play like morons. I should have quick saved there. There's two of them. Uh oh, do they. Oh no, it's one of those skeletons, okay. About to say, do they breed? What's going on? Alright, phase two actually seems easier than phase one. Which makes sense, because there's only like half of them left. Ah, uh, we're gonna split up. Nope. Don't fall for it, guys. He's got more skeletons on his side now. Alright, here he comes. I'm gonna kind of cold him. Jarek, watch out. Alright, another red. Hey, we did it. On normal mode, but that's no. okay. It can't come down. Not now. Time to go, Jarek. Forge is destroyed like Darian wanted. The creature is dead. There could be other notes. More information to... No, Jarek. Not worth more death. You said it. That's it. It's over. Everything's lost. No, brother. We're still alive. Let's go home. Oh, jeez. That's not good. And that's the end of it. Alright, so that was definitely a challenge, to say the least. Um, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, at some point, probably tomorrow, and I'm not sure when I'll get it up, but uh, it might be after the Let's Play, but I will do a video of just how to beat the... Um, we call it the Harvester on Nightmare Mode. I've obviously done it before, because uh, I have the achievement for it. But I'm sure I did it on my Arcane Warrior Blood Mage. Without a healer, though, that would have been, I guess, just chug potions all day long. Um, 
so yeah, I will get some tomes to respec my entire team, get some better gear with runes and everything all decked out, and uh, do a special, a special episode. I guess it probably won't be called an episode because it'll just be a, like a more of a uh, video standalone guide thing. But um, once I do that, I will put a link to it right on the screen, right there. And uh, yeah, you can click on that, and that'll take you right to that video. Um, anyway. That is the end, thankfully, of the Golems of Agmarok, whatever it's called, DLC. We have one more DLC to go, which is a lot more story-driven, I seem to recall, and a lot less challenging. Um, and it is called Witch Hunt, uh, and involves everyone's favorite witch. Um, not really a spoiler, I think it's kind of obvious. So, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Still proud of us for defeating that all those uh, Golems. And that one fight on Nightmare. That was still pretty impressive. And yeah, even if we can't defeat them with this exact composition, I really wish we had like our crew. But uh, I really wish the game was more balanced too. Between So you didn't have to be an arcane warrior to be overpowered. But regardless, that's the way it is. I'll make a, a really nice team, come back here and show you on that video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in Witch Hunt. <laughs>